the number one guitar right there. Number one. Is that your usual guitar? That's the usual one. Oh. That's it. Th this has to be in bypass to get out of here. So. Okay. I'm just gonna figure out your DI real quick and then we'll uh, we'll rock an amp. I thought this Bronson slide guitar amp would be great because it just absolutely rips. I don't know how many watts it is. It's such a nice amp. It's really aggressive and middly and this sounds kind of punky like that. So it was a really, really cool tone out of that. And we had a 57 and a Royer going. Keep playing, Craig. as hell. Damn. Hmm. I got a tough, I got a tough sound going on that thing. Yeah, it sounds like cool Angus Young. Yeah. Yeah. Should we try that? If it, dude, if you said it sounded like Angus Young, that's what he's like ACDC. I'm like, that's just what, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> it sounds like Angus. That's my dream tone. Cool. Be able to sound like that. <laughs> We'll try that and listen to it, how everything's sounding. Okay. Stuff. Cool. Yeah. Craig's guitar setup. So with him, he didn't have a pedal board. He just had a tuner. So he just went, you know, guitar into the tuner, out of the tuner into the DI, split to the control room, split to his amp setup, which was a, a Benson, a little Benson slide guitar amp, which just absolutely rips. And we had a 57 on it and a Royer 121. And uh, nothing fancy going on. Just... Yeah, hmm, I just picked, he had ribbon, had low transformer, dynamic has high transformer, minus 25 gain, minus, minus 15 gain on the ribbon. Wow, that amp was so loud. And that's it. Craig's setup, DI doing the same thing, just level to tape and Pro Tools. Did the same, so he had that Bronson amp, we had a 57 and a, a Royer, I think we started out with that, and so I just did the same thing, got flipped out of phase and you know I have my capsules lined up in in you know close as close as I can together in, in, a, in, a, in a line so in the same plane and then I do this until it uh, start, kind of disappears the most and bam back into phase right doing no EQ in the 57 because it sounded super awesome and bright in this one the Royer I'm adding top like 3k just a little bit of a little bit of 3k a wide wide bell curve and high passing at 75 or 80 or something like that what'd you bring uh, i brought my 69 fender super reverb cool i thought you were going to do that and i had a, a one on deck just in case of Fox. i brought one as backup too <gasps> wow let's go here yeah oh we're going here yes are you threatening me i am threatening you <laughs> yes <laughs> oh yeah Mojo speakers. Are they all the same? Yeah. Supposed to be. Have I recorded? Have I not recorded? I don't think I recorded this before. Yeah, we recorded yeah. it on the last record. There was, oh. I got it. I got from it your the, buddy, day, right? the day before we started recording the That's record. right. Is are you going for cleaner sound in this one? No. It's all the dirty. <laughs> Super phase. I have need some bottom. It sounds good, but I mean, we can we can drop off the treble some on the amp. Let's leave it like it is for now. Okay. We'll have yeah. a listen and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I just left it like it was. So I mean, it's riffing the whole time, so it's you know it may make sense for it to be a little poking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. I just, yeah, put a little bottom in it. Kind of annoying. You know, <laughs> like this. Yeah, the part that makes you want to you know, makes you want to pull your teeth out. The song has <laughs> yeah, well in the brain. A chord in the whole song. Yeah, oh wow! Yeah, I do hit. I hit an A once. <laughs> Ryan's guitar, the lead guitar player, dope ass old Fender amp, and a five four five on one speaker, and a which is like a bright, bright fifty seven, dynamic, and a, a one sixty on the other one. 
and we just have you know low transformer for the for the ribbon, high transformer for the condense or for the dynamic rather, and uh, nothing going on other than 25 and 25 gain. Ryan's guitar setup. This is like this because we did a solo later and just ended up using the 545 only. But uh, when I was getting the sounds, we were just kind of getting phase, like flipping this, flipping this out of phase until it, it completely you know disappears the most, and then back into you know super phase. Yeah, for his solo, I didn't I, we disengaged the cues, but for his for his uh, main track, he had a real the 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 sound of the amp was super super like penny, you know, it's a lot of high end and stuff, and I had. I put a bunch of 480 and you know three something in there, a big wide a b big wide boost of it, and it made it sound really nice. And then later on, he added some more low end and took some high end off the amp, which helped. But this this EQ is just essential. Otherwise, it just sounds super thin and annoying. It just made it just made it sound big. Let's all have a blast, 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 let's all, let's all, let's all have a blast. This seems like the kind of thing where we're gonna double the guitar, so maybe we'll go to your amp for the tracking and then I, double it with Bronson. Hearing it in here, it's actually got it's like kind of a nice rad. Like sort of stoogesy kind of thing Ooh. happening. <laughs> well, we can just overdub your we'll, we'll overdub your amp for the double then, because okay. we're all just just all Let's set up. Uh, is your sounding good? It sounds a little thin. Like it's I, a little thin. I think we can throw. I'm, I was thinking maybe let me mess with the amp just a little bit. For sure. Uh, Do you have enough cable to walk around and stuff? Bit. No, but I I I can kind of hear. I think. What I want. We'll just do a guess and then run back. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Um, if we redo your guitar, I want to put like chamber on it for the solo and stuff because it could be like a neat, yeah, long sure. reverb or something like that. Are, are we going to redo your part or are you trying to go for it? It's whatever we want to do. Yeah. I mean, we'll just cut the solo out and redo the solo if you want to do yeah. it. And so, I mean, you can kind of see how it feels. Yeah. You know? um, things let's go amp yeah. shopping. Oh, we're going to go amp shopping. Yeah. Brad, no great records new without strength. Let's try the old feel. Yeah. Pick some other stuff too. Pick another couple. Pick couple another amps, couple. yeah. Lovely. Thank you. Placebo knobs. It's, it's just a decorative knob. It's fronty. It's not. I don't feel like it's gonna blend very well. Yeah. Yeah. Sound. Let's move on to the. Let's, cool. Let's see what old reliable has to offer. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna grab my flashlight. <laughs> It's really part of your sound too. I mean, yeah. Gee. Well, it's just amazing that that like I think I paid like five hundred dollars for that amp. A lot of musicians' friend is that oh, a place? Yeah, yeah. No, Sam Ash. Oh, okay. <laughs> that place. Yeah. There's a place called Musicians' Friend. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I tried so many amps, like for three or four days, went from. <laughs> Give me some stuff. Yeah, 
Yeah, hold up. I'm going to switch mics. I don't know about this guy. I don't know if it's the position of the mic, but it's goofy. Yeah, I don't think it's... Uh... It's not like the 160 at all. No. Yeah. The 160's got eaten up in the other room. We'll see if this guy plays nice. All right. I think that was a Bayer 130. That wasn't sounding particularly cool, so I put up a Royer 121. There it is. So 57's nice and bright. Royer's nice and dark and roundy. So we're, we moved the amps from the uh, kitchen into the like the dead room here, and we uh, we had them set up in this room. But we, I realized there's a perfect spot for some uh, feedback going into the last chorus. So I want to put his body right next to that amp so we can get some squealy squeal. He can blast himself, <laughs> that kind of thing. Yeah, keep noodling, Ryan. Yeah, that sounds really good, man. Here it comes. 